y'all don't know what stripper etiquette is anymore and at this point seven eight from a lovely wholesale Thank you for sponsoring this portion of the video Take flicks with the guys. I gotta put emojis over like three faces because the fans can't see those eyes. People I shouldn't be beside. When I was an actor, they would go strap for just to sell food on Bieber's side. Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl. That's just one reason why. I seen you around that Soto with Duff Man, baby. You love all some idiot guys. Obedient guys, jokers, and comedian guys. You know I'm like six foot two and a right shoe lover. You love all some medium guys. I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, thinking about entry, know you could tell it's a decent size. You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chels has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes. You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died. I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes. I'm trying to. You could go to the gym every day, but some people, not everybody, some people, if you don't eat right, you really won't see a difference. Or, or just even. She want the tea. I cannot speak. We keeping it street. We keeping it street. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna get beat. How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn her up. Tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets need bosses. Boss them up. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn her up. Tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets need bosses. Go. If my dog get low in his pockets, I'm picking them up. We can't find no bottom together, my nigga. We get it. We spitting it up. If my bitch send me paper, that pussy, I'll take her ass shopping and tell her shit up. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K, and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. Hey, y'all. So today is Saturday night, and I am about to start getting ready for work. I did not vlog yesterday. I mean, I vlogged me cooking dinner, but that was literally all I vlogged. And then I went to work last night. So besides that, I really didn't do much else. The food came out fire, by the way. I had made baked beans, barbecue chicken, mac and cheese potato salad and I had bread on the side y'all saw it. it was so fire y'all 10 out of 10 y'all I'm getting a phone call important about a booking tomorrow which I'm going to talk to y'all about in a second so let me just answer this real quick and I'll be right back hello all right y'all I'm back I had just concealed my eyebrows and stuff while I was on the phone let me try to get some stuff done while I'm on the phone because y'all know I be running late all the time so my hair's already done though I don't have to be leaving the house for another hour and a half so I'm doing good I did want to finish this uh vlog like a little the last 10 minutes of this vlog too so that's why I'm just like starting to get ready early but anyways back to what I was saying y'all so, so last night I did go to work it just was like my energy got thrown off by so many different things y'all but I'm going to tell y'all how my night went last night, why I was irritated, and I'm going to do my money count because I got my money right here, already counted. Last night, as soon as I get to work, it's a little slow. It's been real slow lately. I don't know what's going on in LA, but it's been a little slow. I'm still like going to try to make the best of it, as always. I see a table come in, a little section. It's three dudes. So I'm like watching them. I'm like, let me see if they finna get a bottle. Let me see if they about to get ones. I see they get a bottle. I'm like, I'm finna go over there and talk to them because early money you know i was probably in the club for about like 20 minutes and they had came in i'm like early money let me get on it because i'm trying to make some money because my birthday coming up okay so i walk up to the dude i'm talking to him whatever he like oh it's our first time in the club it's his birthday i'm small talking to him i'm like oh we gotta turn y'all up it's y'all first time gotta get lit y'all at the best strip club in la we outside happy birthday you know trying to turn them up i take like one shot with them or whatever i didn't really want to drink last night so i took a real little shot and then they had got their money and it's a girl literally sitting in a chair right behind their section and she's like trying to talk to the guy too that, that i'm talking to but mind you i'm talking to one dude and there's already two other girls talking to the other two dudes so it's like babe they already got three girls it's three dudes we don't need you right here but the club have been really slow and honestly she's a new girl i never seen her before so i kind of was just like whatever he ain't start throwing money yet i can't say nothing i don't even know if he want me or her so let me just be cool keep talking to him whatever they get their money finally and once they get their money i start dancing he throwing money at me and then his two friends is throwing money at the two girls that, that was right there for them as soon as he start throwing money at me 
why the girl that was sitting behind me trying to talk to him she started trying to dance literally on his back y'all he's sitting in a chair i'm dan dancing on him and she's on his back like look look i'm like girl he already throwing money watch out i was like are you trying to be in the section or are you trying to dance separately i asked her because i don't want there to be no confusion because he started throwing like a two dollars at her or whatever and she started trying to sweep up money and i'm like no you're sweeping my money up so what are you trying to do like are you trying to be in the section because then at that point he ain't pick you if that's what you're trying to do he needs to tell you to come over here she like no i'm gonna dance over here by myself i'm like okay so keep your money over there she like it is i'm like okay and then I'm just dancing for him or whatever. He throwing money at me. He not even throwing money at her no more. And then another girl comes and tries to dance on the same dude. I'm like, yo, where is the stripper etiquette right now? I know it's been dry, but y'all really, really trying it. And I'm like, I do not want to get into a fight. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of y'all. I'm really tired of y'all. This is why when I first started working at the club, mind my business, make my money and go home because y'all really be trying me. I don't know. It just really pissed me off because it's like, where is the stripper etiquette? Because I know if I did it, they would ha definitely have something to say. They would definitely be trying to tell me like, oh, watch out. I'm already dancing for him. Or like, what are you doing? You know, I'm like trying to sweep my money up while I'm dancing for him. And I'm trying to like make sure I get him to keep throwing money at me while I'm trying to watch my money at the same time. And like he's trying to throw money at all three of us and he don't even got that much money. It's like it's not gonna make sense. So I'm irritated, irritated, but I'm still dancing. I'm like, whatever, I'm just making as much money as off him as I can and I'm gonna go. And I low key had an advantage because I'm right in front of him. So he was mostly throwing his money at me. They would just get like little change. But this is where it really blew me. And I'm like, all right, y'all don't know what stripper etiquette is anymore. And at this point, when it gets in a drought, stripper etiquette's out the door for y'all at this point. Because when I tell y'all he stopped throwing money at her and was only throwing money at me. She came around in front of me and started trying to dance. What are you doing? My money is right here. You're finna try to dance right here? Literally, her, her leg is touching my leg. Why are you this close? What are you doing? Like, at that point, this is when I go get security and, and then females start to get mad at me because I'm not trying to start altercation because if I say something and you say something crazy, I know how I am and when, like, it comes to my respect and the way somebody talked to me. So that's my biggest problem. I hate when people feel like they could disrespect me or play in my face, and that's when I get to get disrespectful. I'm really trying not to fight because people have been telling me, like, why you keep on fighting? Why you keep on fighting? It's not that I keep on fighting. It's that be the principle behind stuff i'm really just trying to avoid fighting though so i was like at this point i'm finna go get security so i'm like about to get up and the dude's like oh i'm about to go outside to smoke real quick i'm like oh, okay perfect so he go outside to smoke she's on standby she ain't going nowhere i'm thinking she gonna walk away pick her money up and walk away nope sitting in the seat right behind me and waiting for him to come back i'm like okay so they come back they go into a booth I go into the booth with them and then they end up getting 2000 and then uh, two more bottles and they end up picking more girls because they got a big booth, but they end up switching us out, which irritated me. But I was like, whatever, I made a little bit of money right there and they end up switching me out and getting seven new girls for $2,000 or it was like six girls for $2,000. Y'all, first of all, the stacks are not even hundreds. They're like 85. So think about it. Not even a whole 2,000. And it's six of y'all in the section. That's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Thirsty girl ended up getting into the section because she was just like on it, on it. And I was just like, at that point, they want to switch out girls, whatever. I'm not about to be thirsty about it. My boyfriend's up calling me. He knows I'm at work. He's like, where you at? I'm like, I work. And then he's like... I'm in the front. I see him. I go to the front. We take a shot together or whatever. I didn't even know that he saw me trying to get into the section. He saw that they had swapped, swapped me out or whatever. He ended up getting like five, $600. And uh, we ended up going into a booth. And he just ended up throwing it all at me or whatever. I almost got into it with a girl over that situation because she didn't know he was my man, whatever. So she tried to whisper in his ear and try to get him to throw some money at her. And I told her, oh, don't whisper in his ear. And she called me the B word. And I said, who would you call in the B word? And then my boyfriend stepped in and was like, watch out. We not doing this. This my girl. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, this is why as a dancer, my man coming into the club is, I don't like it. I don't. But it is what it is. I'm not going to tell him not to come. Like, he tried to make my night better by throwing some money at me. It's not his fault that females just do a lot of weird stuff. Because I'm just like, do not whisper in his ear. Are you dumb? He came in there because they was, they was going to play his song and stuff. So it was just like... But she did end up coming up to me and was like, 
I didn't know that was your man. My bad. You know, we at a strip club. I'm like, I feel you. I don't got a problem with you. It's not, I don't have a problem with you. I just didn't like the whole whisper in his ear thing. But you're right. You didn't know he was my man. So that's fine. I'm going to leave it alone. Period. And after that, I ended up dancing for these two guys on stage. Once I danced for those two guys, I was even more pissed off because they had me get on stage and they had got $1,200 and threw about 300 400 of it didn't even throw it all like was really on stage doing it up though recording doing all this and this and that throwing one dollar at a time like what are you doing but i was grateful for all the money that i accumulated throughout the night when i was on stage with those two guys though i did partner up so we had split that 400 it was one something each i don't even think it was a whole two something because like i said the stacks are not 400 i also met a subscriber y'all shout out to her for pulling up on me i definitely put that clip in already of her pulling up on me she shows love shout out to her i love my honeybees that come pull up on me if y'all can pull up on me come pull up on me but i do gotta work still so if you ain't throwing no money i can't just sit up and chit chat but you feel me like i, I love meeting y'all if y'all pull up pull up also y'all i did get shorties this time so i don't know if i showed y'all but i went to the nail shop and i got my nails done me and shay had a whole little date i didn't vlog it we had got food and stuff and i got my nails done so these are my nails my nail shop really be doing a big one y'all like like how cute are my nails for real so freaking cute and then my toes i kind of go with my you know it's a vibe french tip big toe i used to always post my hands and my toes when i get them done on instagram but i have to stop because people are really weird and i'm low-key like ugh, like dudes be saying the craziest stuff when i be posting my feet and i'm just like at this point i'm not about to be posting my feet no more you want to see my feet you can send me a feed okay mm -mm. i ain't going for it we're gonna hope that tonight is a better night because saturdays are usually better than fridays so hopefully tonight is better and i did get booked for a private party tomorrow it is for a rapper y'all will see who the rapper is tomorrow it'll probably be in the title of this video too so y'all probably already know who the rapper is it was supposed to be three girls but i'm not gonna lie i like to put my homegirls onto bags so it was these two girls that are homegirls and i'm just like okay well i want to bring my homegirl too so i submitted ash so they said she could pull up so it's gonna be four of us i'm not gonna hold you like yeah it's gonna be less, less money to split but i'm never gave greedy so sorry i'd rather be comfortable and cool with my homegirl being there with me than just be awkward like and not have nobody you know and yeah now y'all are all caught up so let's do this money count for friday night last night we got our ones right here 100 200 300 400 500 6 7 8 9 and then we got 18 leftover ones so that's 918 and then we have our big bills 20 40 60 80 85 90 95 so last night we made $1013 a band and 13 i'm happy with it and shout out to my subscriber for pulling up and just shout out to everybody who threw some money at me okay because this is all going towards my birthday that's how friday went let's hope tonight we could do even better we need nothing but bags all weekend not just period so i'm about to finish getting ready for work and then i'll check back in with y'all once i'm at the club or once i get back home Good morning, y'all. I'm definitely in a rush. It's Sunday morning, and I'm rushing to get ready. I'm all three hours of sleep. Got home last night from work, and I knew I had to be up early to do the private party. It's going on 11 right now, and it's a 25-minute drive. So I need to be able to do my hair in, like, the next five minutes. I didn't do my money count for last night yet, obviously, because I'm trying to hurry up. Ash is on her way here. She got a Starbucks. Y'all know I got my matcha. Oh, I can't wait for her to get here with that because when I tell y'all I'm so sleepy, I'm so sleepy. I feel like I was working so hard last night. For last night to have been a Saturday, I was working so hard for a little bit of money here and there. And then there was one section that I had gotten because I knew the people. But it was irritating because also I have 
powder on my face if y'all wondering i haven't wiped my powder off yet i'm just letting it bake for right now it was so annoying because the section that i was in they was trying to pick their other girls and it was so many dancers at work last night that, that oh wrong brush it was so many girls at work last night that like it just wasn't adding up like any section was having five to six girls in it no matter how much money it was and i hate that because it messes up everybody's money like i'm in a section they got two thousand but it's seven girls it don't make no sense but last night that's exactly what was happening they know a lot of people in the club so like all the girls was like swarming the section i don't know how girls will literally just sit there and try to beg somebody to put them in their section like you going outside babe if a dude don't pick me for their section, they just don't pick me for their section. Like, I'm not about to beg to be on the bag. And then, like, I even sweat my whole wig off yesterday. So, I tried to spray it down today because I literally just need this to hold this off until today. Like, after today, this could go. Because my hair appointment is on Tuesday anyways. So, I'm like, I'm going to take my hair out probably tonight, honestly. Because this got to come off. But yeah, I'll do my money count when I get back home. I'll try to vlog what I can, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to vlog. So yeah, I'll just check back in with y'all once I'm on the way and stuff like that. I decided to go to Starbucks and get me a drink. I got me a matcha, but I wanted to switch it up. Let me tell you one thing about it. I would never switch it up again. This drink was disgusting. I got vanilla, syrup, brown sugar, and chai. It was disgusting. Negative 10 out of 10. What's up, guys? So, y'all, it's a couple days later. I think the last time I talked to y'all was on Sunday, right before I went to go do <laughs> the private. I was like, I low-key just want to stay low-key right now because I'm not even trying to be in that type of limelight. So, it was just like a situation. If you know about it, you know about it. Everything just went, like, left. Like, I did not expect to be on camera being recorded, but I was. And for the people that saw it and y'all feel some type of way about it, like, it is what it is like it wasn't we was in a skybox there was no kids over there it was all adults and yeah everybody want to say oh my god it's an nfl game and there's kids there there was no kids around we're in a, a private skybox the only people that could see us was the people on the field and we literally danced for like two minutes and he made that video which i didn't even know i was getting recorded but yeah we stopped like it was a video and that was it like we didn't even throw all the money we went home with rubber banded money that didn't even get thrown because we literally did it fast but i do feel some type of way about how certain things went so that's why i don't want to speak about it too much because it kind of was just like especially for my situation i didn't know that it was going to be on the blogs and all of that so that's what happened with that one learn my lesson you know you live and you learn you win some you lose some and now I'm gonna move very different when it comes to stuff like that because, I mean, it is what it is. I made my money, I came home, 
what can I do about it now? Like, I'm not about to dwell in the past. Like, like I said, now I know how certain things go. But I ain't gonna hold you like, that shit was kind of lit, so. Mm -hmm. I guess you feel how you feel about it. It is what it is. Would I do it again? No. Do I feel like it was worth it? Not really. That's all I gotta say about that. I am not going to do the money count for that because I just feel like that's gonna give people more opinions and I really don't care to hear anybody's opinion about it. So we're not gonna do the money count for that day. But we are gonna do the money count for Saturday because I still haven't did that. Like it's literally sitting over there with my dancer bag. When I got home on Saturday, y'all know, I just put my dancer bag over there. I went and got my hair done today and I'm really liking this color. It's giving the fall vibes, okay. I really like it, I think it's super cute. We did a middle part. I think I am gonna end up crimping this hair. I'm not 100% sure though, but right now we just did straight. This hair is gonna go with my Halloween costume, which I just got my Halloween costume in the mail and I actually wanna show it to y'all before I do this money count. And I also wanna open up some other packages that I got. So let's go ahead and do that. Also comment down below what y'all think about this hair color on me. Y'all gonna see, cause my costume, it go with it. Like, let me show y'all. I actually got a few packages. I know this one for sure is my costume, so I'm gonna open this one first. Y'all, that was literally my first time ever seeing somebody get proposed to. I've never seen anybody ever get proposed to. So that was really cute. Like even when my parents got married, I don't think I was there when my dad proposed. I got my costume from Fashion Nova. I don't even know if I'm gonna go to a costume party yet. I'm supposed to be hosting one, but I'm not gonna lie, I might just like, post the flyer and not even go. It just depends. This is my costume. I'm gonna be Wilma from Flintstones. I thought that was really cute and I had this hair already. So I was like, I might as well be Wilma. Her hair was like similar to this and it's goes with fall vibes. So why not? I just hope the outfit fit me and look good on me how I wanted to. I'm not gonna try it on, but I'll just show it to y'all. I don't wanna try it on. Just, if you wanna see me in it, Go follow me on Instagram so you can see I'm gonna post pictures in it for sure. And y'all can go look at my pictures that I posted of my merch because my merch is for sale. Make sure y'all go shop my merch. Either DM me on Instagram, which you'll get a cheaper price if you buy through Instagram, or you can go on my Depop and purchase it. And if y'all are wondering like why you don't have a website or why you're not doing it on website, I just don't know if I'm gonna be selling merch all the time. And I don't wanna create a whole website to like sell merch one time, one drop and not do it again. And then I have a whole website for what, you know? So I just feel like if y'all wanna shop with me, then y'all can on Depop or through Instagram DM, I'll ship it to you. I feel like that's just easier for everybody. Oh my gosh. I literally ordered this necklace and it already came with one. That's so dumb. That was a waste. These are the bottoms. I thought it came with underwear or something to go underneath it. I hope it did. Oh, it did, yeah. So you put these underneath. Damn, these are big. These go underneath the bottoms. And then this is the top. I'm going to try it on off camera. Hopefully, I like it. So then I also got this in my P.O. box, which I wasn't expecting anything in my P.O. box. So I'm actually curious to see what this is. Lumi Exotic Dancer Wear. Contact us to order. Hmm. Let me take a picture of this and post it on Instagram. I wasn't expecting no dancer outfits. Shout out to Lumi Exotic Dancer Wear for sending your girls some outfits. I hope these outfits are fire. Let me go ahead and take a picture of this first and then I'm going to open it up. Okay, y'all. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six dancer outfits in here. And there's a note. Y'all know we love a good handwritten note. Ooh, and you got nice penmanship. Okay, shout out to you. It says, hey, honey K, my name is Maxine and I am a subbie. Just wanted to send you a few pieces from my new Lumi Exotic Week line. Hope you like the items. I thought they'd be perfect for Halloween for you and your baddie friends. I love your content and wish you the biggest bags, period. XOXO Maxine. So cute. Thank you so much, Maxine. Lumi Exotic Dancer Wear. And she gives you a coupon code. So if y'all want to go shop with her, it says use the code NIGHTLIFE10 for 10% off your next order. And follow them on Instagram and TikTok. 
All of these outfits are white. I don't be wearing white outfits like that. So I guess it's kind of cool that she gave me some white outfits. This one is cute too. It's a skirt. It's a two-piece. A lot of the girls tell me I look cute in two pieces. This outfit is also cute. I don't have any outfits like this. I don't really like wearing outfits like this to the club. It just don't be my vibe in the club, but I'm definitely going to put it to use in other ways, okay? And last but not least, she gave me this dress. It's a white dress. Super cute. So she just have a lot of cute outfits. <sighs> Why are you calling me? Hello? I'm in the middle of filming something real quick. What's up? Those outfits are super cute, y'all. And then we got another... So the next items I got are from Lovely Wholesale. And shout out to Lovely Wholesale for sponsoring this portion of the video and sending your girl over some cute items. Y'all, I've never shopped with Lovely Wholesale before. When I did go on their site, they had some really cute outfits. So I'm excited to see what they hitting for. Is they giving what the pictures was given? Are they legit? Let's get into it and let's see. Like the quality and everything. We about to get into it. Y'all know I'm very honest. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So Lovely Wholesale does have a lot of cute outfits on their site for a really good price so i'm trying to see if it's really worth the hype or not so we about to go ahead and try some of these on and see what it's giving y'all okay y'all so if you're new here just for reference my height is 411 and currently my weight is 113 this is the first outfit it's like a little jogger suit it's like a baby pink it's super cute has a zipper has pockets it doesn't have any pockets in the pants, but it does have a drawstring. And there are pockets in the back on the butt. And this is definitely 100% short girl friendly. It literally fits perfectly on me. Um, I do have it a little bit high-waisted though. That's how I like to wear all my pants though. Honestly, I like to wear my pants kind of high-waisted. Super cute. The material is thin. So I wouldn't say this is a good material if it's super cold outside. But it is good material if you're the type of person that gets hot easily. So you can actually just layer this if it is cold outside. And then like if you get hot, take one coat off and you can just keep this on. But right now it's perfect for like the fall because it's not too cold and it's not too hot. So we're starting off good. I like this. This does look like the pictures. So let's see what else we got y'all. So for the second outfit, we have this black basic rumper. This is a romper that I would say is like a everyday necessity type. You always need like a gray, burgundy, or black type of romper in your closet. Even on a chill day, you can dress it down, dress it up, tennis shoes, heels, however you want to do it. I really do like the material of this. For some reason, I was a little iffy about what I was expecting from Lovely Wholesale. But right now, they're actually doing a lot better than I thought. Like, this material is actually pretty cool. So... All right then, lovely wholesale. The back is just plain and it does zip up and down in the back. And the zipper wasn't getting stuck or anything crazy like that. It was actually pretty cool. So it's definitely giving perfect for the fall. You could dress this up for the fall. Y'all know a romper, you can do a lot with it. And I'm pretty sure that this was a really good price. I'm gonna have everything down below in the description box. All the links to every outfit will be down below in the description box. And I even have a discount code for y'all, which I didn't even tell y'all yet. I don't know why not. Because y'all know I got a discount for my girls. So if y'all want 15% off of your order, when you check out, make sure you go ahead and type in Kayla15. K-A-L-A, if you know, you know. There's no Y in my name. K-A-L-A-15. Make sure y'all go ahead and use that code when y'all check out so y'all can save you some coins, okay? You know I'm always look out for my honeybees. But let's go on to the next outfit. So this is the third look. The third look is a two-piece set, and we got just a regular black tank. Just so you guys are aware, the material is not cotton. It's more like a polyester type of material. So that's what I mean by it's kind of like a thin material. It's just not cotton. This set does come with a jawstring so you can tighten the waist up. I have tied mine and kind of put it high-waisted as y'all can see. I did just eat y'all, okay? I just ate. So I got a little food baby right now. I don't know why I be doing hauls after I eat my food, but I do. These pants are stacked, like the scrunched up leg right here so that it gives the stacked look and then it has the slit at the bottom. I would say these are definitely short girl friendly. There are no pockets on these pants. And my big toenail broke today. So nobody say anything about it, okay? Everybody know I keep my nails, toes, hairs, lashes, everything done 24, 25, 8. Y'all catching me slipping right now, but that's because 
I needed to record this and I couldn't go to the nail shop today because I had a lot going on. I really like this outfit. This is another outfit that I feel like you could dress up or down. So let me know what y'all are thinking about these outfits so far. We got two more pieces, so let's keep it going. Okay, so next we have this green hoodie. It says in the front, I feel like Pablo. I don't know what that means, y'all. Put me on if y'all know what that means. I feel like I'm probably slow for not knowing what that means. And it does have a pocket. This is a real pocket. The material is a good material. I actually do like this material. It is soft inside and everything like that. The back is the reason I got it, y'all. It says stack money, not friends. And I know that's right. Because that's what we all about. We stack money, not friends. I really liked this hoodie just because of that. I'm really loving the pieces I got so far. Y'all let me know which piece is y'all favorite or which piece y'all would go cop from them. So let's get into this last piece. Okay, y'all, for this last piece, I had to switch it up for y'all real quick and show y'all that they got some real cute, sexy outfits too, okay? Not just chill, dress up, dress down outfits. Got some real cute stuff too. So this dress is perfect because it's long sleeve and it's also long fitting. So it's perfect for the fall type vibes. And this dress is still giving body, okay? Only thing is, I'm not gonna hold you, walking in this dress, you can't just be walking too much because like, it's a little difficult. You gotta make smaller steps in this dress because it's so long. But again, I am short, so it's gonna be longer on me than it might be on somebody else. Like, huh? What? It's tea. I think this might be my favorite. I'm trying to think. I really like that hoodie though. It's hard for me to choose. All of these pieces was really cute. And they're all just so perfect for the fall. So if y'all want to go ahead and copy out something, go ahead and check that link down below in the description box, like I said. And use my code Kayla15 so I can get that money off. Thank you again so much to Lovely Wholesale for sending me these pieces. So yeah, now I'm about to actually try on my birthday outfit because it just came in the mail. But I'm not about to show that to y'all. Not yet. Let me go ahead and finish doing this money count and I'll check back in with y'all after I do this money count. Y'all, I was about to go to sleep, literally. I'm so tired. I have a facial appointment tomorrow. So I need to get up early and I need to make sure that this video is uploaded and ready to go before I go to my facial. So honestly, I'm about to try to hurry up and finish it and go to bed. I'm gonna just upload it and finish everything in the morning. But I just wanted to finish this money count I'm not going to hold you. I don't want to touch the money because my hands are clean. So I'm going to just leave the money right here until the morning. Because I literally don't feel like put it away, wipe down the counter, wash my hands. All these extra steps. I'm being really lazy right now. I had just ended up taking a shower and then I just got hella sleepy. But I just wanted to give y'all Saturday's final money count. We have one, two. Can y'all see? All right, this is a better angle for y'all to see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a thousand dollars. And then this is fifty dollars plus a twenty, that's seventy, plus twelve, that's eighty-two. So we made a thousand and eighty-two dollars on Saturday. Your girl is fine with that, okay? Thousand eighty-two dollars on Saturday. Sunday's money count, not doing it. I'm not saying I didn't make no money. I definitely made money for sure. But I'm just not finna open up that door for anybody to have an opinion more than they already do. So yeah. With that being said, your girl is about to start uploading this video and call it a night. So I'll see you guys when it's time to go to our facial appointment. I also need to try on my birthday outfit. I still didn't try it on, but I'm just gonna try it on in the morning. Usually, I would really, really wanna try it on and see how it looks, but I'm just that tired. I didn't even try my Halloween costume on yet. I'm just that tired, y'all. I cannot, <laughs> so I'll just see y'all in the morning. <laughs> We're here to get our monthly facial, y'all. I just got my hair done, so I have this on. But Helene is about to get me right, okay?
Okay, guys, so I got my facial, and I'm starving. I want to get some food, and I need to go hygiene shopping real bad. So we're going to go to Target and go hygiene shopping, and what else is on our plan? Oh, we got to make a bank run, and then I think that's it. I be seeing the YouTube girls do, like, come hygiene shopping with me, so that's what we're going to do. I have no idea what I want to eat right now, but I need to eat something. And we might cook dinner tonight. Um, I do have like a couple business calls I need to make, so I'm probably just going to make those while I'm in the car. Y'all, also like update on my camera. Why do I still not have my camera, y'all? Like it makes literally no sense why I don't have my camera still. So I've been calling for like an update. Supposedly I'm supposed to be getting my refund by the end of this week. But my camera is still going to take three weeks to fix. And they've already had my camera for about a month. In like two days, it'll be a month. And his explanation for the reason why my camera is not fixed, he said it's literally sitting in Arizona at the Sony location, but they can't fix it until I register it. And I can't register it until after I get my refund. So it's just like a lot of the waiting game, but I am being patient and I'm just glad that I got a camera so that I'm still able to work and get things done regardless. At least I'm getting my refund and then after that I just gotta wait three more weeks for my camera. So I should have my camera around my birthday or right after my birthday. So I just want it back. That's it. That's the update with that y'all. I had just got off the phone with them and then now I need to call some other people. I'm gonna just check back in with y'all after I get off this phone and get this food. And then we're gonna go to the bank, y'all. So yeah, let's go ahead and get shit done, okay? How ghetto. I'm about to just have to put this in this bag. because Y'all, I don't know why I thought this would fit. Like, uh. All right, guys, so I am at Target now and we are about to, to do some quick little hygiene shopping. Okay, y'all, first thing is our Urban Skin RX Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment. I have to re-up on this because it's been doing magic, so I need another one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. Also, I'm gonna start trying to use this. I heard this is really good, so we're gonna get this too. It says 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Hmm. It better work then because I'll get asked for my money back. The main thing that's annoying is I have to literally keep asking them to open stuff. But I do need some more pimple patches. So I'm going to get some. Gotta re up on my Dr. Bronner's. I never tried the almond one. I didn't even know there was an almond one. I'm going to just get the unscented baby one because I don't like the peppermint one. That is not it. For shower stuff, I do need some more lotion. I'm going to go ahead and get the big one. I'll be using cocoa butter, y'all. I'm going to get the big one because that little one does not last me. I put lotion on every time I get out the shower. So that little one be gone fast. I lotion my whole body. I used to use Nivea. This one to be exact. Nivea is a really good one if you like a thick very very thick lotion i just like cocoa butter better now but i used to use nivea in the summertime i would not suggest to use nivea because you will be sweaty i really wanted to get a cocoa butter like after shower gel but they don't have it here this is like a mini target so i guess they're not gonna have everything i'm just gonna get this oil too this oil if y'all know what oil i'm talking about like the shower gel one that's what the one i wanted to get but I'm gonna just get this one because I don't want to go to another Target. I'm all out of my Tree Hut scrubs, so I want to get a new one. And they have so many different ones, so I'm about to smell all of these to see which one I want. Have y'all tried any of these? Watermelon, strawberry, Moroccan rose, cocoa colada, tropic glow, pineapple, peach, and desert haze. I've had this one before. They also, bro. They have so many. They have vanilla. I don't think I'm gonna like vanilla. And then Moonlight Glow. It's so funny because I really don't care about recording in public no more. People just stare at you and it's like, this is what I do for a living, so this is what I'm gonna do. This one smells really good. Moonlight Glow. 
It smells like something I would want to put on before I go to sleep, right out the shower. I'm going to hold on to this one, peach. This one has a really strong scent. I kind of like it, but I don't know if I would get tired of it. Pineapple. Stinks. <laughs> Does not smell good. Moroccan rose. This one smells good. It's like a, it's a real soft scent though. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that one. I like this one tropic glow I like everything with the glow at the end moonlight glow tropic glow okay I'm gonna hold on to this one too mm, the coco colada is not my type strawberry smells good but I don't really want to smell like this it smells like candy or something you know how people be having like birthday cake scents I don't like that I don't like stuff like that and watermelon doesn't smell good so yeah no so top three is Tropic Glow, Moroccan Rose, and Moonlight Glow. Now if I get all three, that's a little OD, huh? But I just might. So now we I don't run out. So I use this razor to shave my legs. And I never gave y'all the review on this razor. This razor is actually really, really good. Love this razor. It's worth $13 for sure. I'm not gonna get it right now because I already have one, but it comes with three blades to change. Have any of my girlies used native deodorant? I'm looking for a new deodorant. I currently use Dove. I've used Dove like my whole life, but I'm starting not to like it anymore. I think my body is changing and I need a new deodorant and I've heard native products are super good, but I'm not sure about the deodorant. So if y'all have tried it, let me know because I need a new deodorant now. For shampoo, I go back and forth between Pantene and the, this one, the shampoo and the, the conditioner. Today I'm gonna get this one though, cause I've been using the Pantene and I kinda wanna go back to this one to see again if I like this one better, so. I've been back at home for a little bit. I ate my food. As y'all can see, I done spilled the damn Chick-fil-A sauce on my shirt. And I was replying to DMs about these pre-orders, which I'm about to start packaging those orders right now because I started accepting pre-orders today and I got a few pre-orders. And I wasn't expecting to get that many pre-orders. So I already have some on hand, but I'm gonna have to go get more made for the actual launch than I thought I was gonna need made for the actual launch. Just because of the fact that the pre-orders are about to have me almost sold out. So I need to go to my vendor spot tomorrow and get more made. This merch is limited edition. I love to do limited edition stuff. I don't want everybody, to, like, I love to be that girl that be like, I got this. Y'all didn't get it when it came out? I did. You know? So that's the type of stuff I want to be dropping. Stuff that's just like... You got it, you got it, you didn't, you didn't. I just gotta go re-up though for the actual drop. That's gonna be my only re-up though. After that, it's a done deal. This is gonna be the only drop for this exact two-piece set. My pre-order girls, y'all definitely did get a discounted price as well. I'm gonna go through what I got from the store. I spent a little bag at Target. That's why I low-key wanted to go to Walmart. But Walmart, there's not a lot of Walmarts in LA. I'm gonna have to go 30, 40 minutes just to get to a Walmart. I did go to one other store too, but I went to that store just for paper towels, toilet paper. Um, I got some extra toothbrushes. And I got some more kombucha. This is the watermelon one. I wanna try this one. And then I got two immunity boost shots from Target. We got some loofahs, this little back scrubber thing. It's a gentle exfoliator and cleaner for your back. We got some cocoa butter like y'all saw. The quenching plus coconut curls, shampoo and conditioner. Then I got some more Dr. Bronner's. Y'all saw that already in there. The Pro Namel Sensodyne toothpaste because that's what I use. Then I did get the Tree Hut tropical glow and then the moonlight glow i'm actually about a shower so i'm gonna use one of these i don't know which one i want to use first then i told you i had to get some more of the dark spot treatment then i got some cocoa butter skin therapy oil and then i did end up getting the benzoyl peroxide gel so i plan to start using this and see what it does for me and i got some of the mighty patches i had to re-up on some aquaphor honestly i should have just got the bigger one you need to put aquaphor on them heels. 
I'm telling you, I'll put my cocoa butter and then I'll put my aqua four on my heels and like the bottom of my foot and I'll put my socks on. So my feet stay cute and soft. But yeah, that's everything we got for the hygiene. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, y'all. And I'm gonna try this kombucha. I might as well try it. I'm gonna give me a cup of ice and try it with y'all. And then we're gonna drink our kombucha while we package some order. guys so i just finished packaging my pre-orders that i'm gonna ship tomorrow um it's about 1 a.m right now and i have a dentist appointment in the morning so i need to be up early because i have some errands i want to run before my dentist appointment because the dentist like after the dentist i don't be in the mood but i have a lot to do tomorrow too and i'm gonna go back to work on friday so i kind of want to just get like a lot of running around done tomorrow so that i don't have to worry about it i've been really busy lately so i'm gonna get everything done tomorrow and then be ready for the weekend to work so I'm just going to end this vlog here and I'm going to start a new vlog on Friday. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Honey K2 E's in the Honey. And make sure you watch some of my other videos because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. I love you guys. Make sure you shop my merch. Love ya.